What is good, YouTube? It's your boy TJV24, and today we're with another video. You feel me? Today we're gonna just rate, I mean, we're gonna do a bracket to see who has the best album of 2021 so far. Now, a few of the albums that recently dropped is probably not gonna be on here or future albums like Nick Mill's album is not going to be on here because well I haven't got the chance to listen to it yet so yeah that's pretty much why but you know it's okay though because we're just gonna go ahead and start off with the first one Donda versus Unbothered nah. This should be very easy. Everyone should know that Donda is better, of course. Now, this one is a pretty tricky one. But, honestly, DG, this album was really, really good. But, it's just unfortunate that he had the go out in the first round against Tekka. Now, honestly, if this, if like, if this album was going against a different Tekka album, it may have had a chance, but I got We Love You Tekka 2. The third one, the easiest one, oh my god. Man, you know, we shouldn't even talk about YB and Amiria's album. Because, you know what I'm saying? We don't really have nice things to say about his album. So we'll just go ahead and move on. Now, RP, our boy DMX, you feel me? But, if we're being realistic, in my opinion, I really do got the Migos having a better album this year, of course. And the reason is, of course, because DMX album, it wasn't really like, like, it was kind of like, he just did it, because why not, if I'm me. And the Migos, their album, it was kind of disappointing, but it was like, better, in my opinion. So, I got the Migos, of course. Now, this, this should also be an easy one. Cause loyalty over royalty, oh my goodness. There was only like two good songs on that. And no and one of them was Whoopty. And then I think the other one was Bob. And then let's not talk about how this man sound with French Montana and did a song with French Montana. And that song was trash, to be honest. So we'll just go ahead and go with TJ. Now this one, honestly, in my opinion, I feel like Raw Wave is overhyped, in my opinion. But when it comes to this album, I really do got um, So Far over Sin City. Not saying that Sin City was bad, but it just wasn't better than, you know, Rod Wave's album. So I gotta give it to Rod Wave, you feel me? The next one, Voice of the Heroes versus Still Sleep by Sleepy Hollow. Now, in my opinion, Sleepy Hollow has a whole lot of potential, but I have to go with Voice of the Heroes because it's just better in my opinion it's, I don't yeah it's just better in my opinion so yeah next we have Clouds by NF versus Murray Street Sermons now honestly so far this is the hardest one because I like both of them a lot and like they're kind of like in a way, they're tied in their different ways, though. But 
if I'm being honest, when it comes to more enjoyment, I have to say I got, I have to say, I'm going to go with Moray, actually. Why not? If I, mean, I got Moray. Okay. So the next one out of this side, we got Drake. I mean, yeah, Certified Lover Boy versus DJ Khaled's Khaled Khaled. But everyone should just pick Drake's album easily. <laughs> it's not even it's not even close in my opinion. This this is a tough one. El Dorado versus Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame is not a bad album at all, in my opinion. And El Dorado is not a bad album either, in my opinion. They're both pretty good actually. But honestly, It's just my opinion. I'm going to go with Polo G Hall of Fame. Okay, next we got The Off Season versus Just a Matter of Slime by Juan W. Melly. If it's my opinion, I easily go with um The Off Season. And it's not even a question in my opinion. Legends Never Die versus a Gangsta's Plan. Pain. My bad. My bad. Pain. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, if I'm being real though, I feel like I like Juice's album better. But mm, Money Bag Yo is, you feel me, is going crazy. You feel me? So. But I'm gonna go ahead and give it to Juice, you feel me? Now you got my boy T Grizzly with his album versus Logic's album. If I'm being honest, for going by them as an artist, I got Logic all the way. But this, when it comes to these two albums, I like T Grizzly's album better. So, I'm going to go with C. Grizzly, you feel me? Okay, now, 42 Doug, Freedom Boys, versus Kayla Roy, F. Love 3. Now, honestly, 42 Doug is an artist that grew on me a lot. Kayla Roy though, on the other hand, the opposite happened. He grew off me after like 2019, 2020. I think that's when I first heard of him. Yeah. So honestly, I got 42 Dogs album over. Now this one, um, I can't think of the album's name off of the top of my head. It's um Quadeca though. Versus Pop's Books Fade. Honestly, I got Kodeka's album easily. It's not even close. <laughs> I'm just being real. It's not even close between those two albums specifically. And everybody knows Call Me If You Get Lost is better than Shite Season. No. We're on to the next. Donda versus We Love You Tekka 2. As much as I love Tekka, you feel me? I'm a big fan of Tekka, you feel me? But if we're being real, realistically, I gotta go with Donda, to be honest. I got Donda. <sighs> That's unfortunate to say, but... I have Donda, um, 
Trip at Night versus Culture 3. Now, one thing I will say is the Miku sounded way more diver diverse than Trippy Red on those two albums. But when it comes to consistency, I got Trippy Red all the way. You feel me? So that's, that's why I'm going to pick Trippy Red's album over. Okay. Now, Destined to Win versus. Um, what am I thinking? <laughs> so fly. Oh. All of this is live, by the way, if you can see. But, um, honestly, when it comes to, um, these two albums, I like TJ better. His album is better, in my opinion. But, Rod Wave do put a lot of emotion into his album. But I got TJ. In my opinion. And Voice of the Heroes versus Street Sermons. Murray, you did have a chance. But I gotta go Voice of the Heroes. Alright, next we have this side of the bracket. Certified Lover Boy versus Hall of Fame. And it's all my opinion, so don't get mad at my opinion, but honestly, I really do got a Hall of Fame over, you know what I'm saying, over Starter Fall Over Boy. Maybe in a few months, as, it, as the album progresses, you feel me, I might have Starter Fall Over Boy over Hall of Fame, but as of right now, I got Hall of Fame over Jake's album, Certified Lover Boy. Now next, I have um, Off Season versus Legends Never Die. Honestly, Jake's album was really good, but J. Cole is Jermaine Cole, so that that's obvious so you know what I'm saying now we have the Michigan people T Grizzlies I can barely read the album name I'm gonna be real but um and uh 42 Doug Freedom Boys I really like the album I just forget the album's name so yeah um if you um I'm gonna actually make sure I remember it okay so look um anyways I'll remember it eventually. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Uh, I got um, T. Grizzly's album though over um, 42 Dogs. So, and call me if you get lost versus my boy Quadeca. My boy Quadeca, man. You went crazy on your album. I won't even lie about that. But, if I'm being real, I gotta go with Tyler, the creator. And it's just my opinion, of course. Okay, now the next, the next, um, the next round, you got Donda <laughs> versus Trip at night. Now, of course, Trippy Red is very, very consistent on this album. But one thing about Kanye, he doesn't keep 
Like, he's consistent, and he doesn't just keep one sound. It's, like, more diverse. So that's why I gotta go with Donda. And also, man, that man, Vori, man. That man, Vori, went crazy on that album. That's... <laughs> but Destined to Win versus Voice of the Heroes. Um, in my opinion, I personally, I personally like Destined to Win more than Voice of the Heroes. If I'm being honest, so I got, I got Destined to Win. No. Unfortunately, Apology has to compete with Jermaine Cole. Therefore, yes, that's. All I need to say. <laughs> T Grizzly, I like his album more than Tyler. I really just like him as an artist more than Tyler, to be honest. But yeah, that's why I got T Grizzly um, album over Call Me If You Get Lost. Now, I know my list doesn't look good to everybody people are in the comment section gonna call me slow and stuff you feel me but now i have donda versus destined to win destined to win is a fa is a really good album in my opinion but is it better than donda and no it isn't better than donda in my opinion and then J. Cole, his album is better than T. Grizzly's album, in my opinion, as well. So now, who has the best album of 2021 as of right now, in this moment? And the answer is, in my opinion, I gotta go with... This is a hard one right here actually but I gotta go with um Donda I guess actually I like honestly let me think about this real quick when it comes to the features on these albums cause I feel like Cole did better as the main artist which matters a lot but when it comes to the features, Kanye West had the better features. But when it comes to body of work, honestly, the off season was not like, like Donda had a little bit of filler, but the off season, in my opinion, was just straight up. You feel me? So it's like, but as time progresses, I might have. Donda over the off season, but as of right now, in my opinion, the off season is the best album in twenty dang <laughs> in twenty twenty one. Oh my god! <laughs> so yeah, if you want to um do your own version of um this bracket the link will be in the description you feel me so like subscribe comment you feel me and i'm out peace